Welcome to the, another Burke commentary video. In this video, I'll be talking about AMD just cannot stop pissing off the community again. Find out more why AMD pissed off the community in this video. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So AMD, what did they do to piss off the community again? With the R, with the X3D lineup? They delayed the much, much anticipated R7 7800X3D to April. But meanwhile, they like the so called promised February launch, they are launching the R9 X3D, which it means there's going to be about one gap, month gap between the R9 X3D and the R7 X3D. What? This kind of got the community be like, hey, AMD's trying to milk us again. Because for the people that are like, I want X3D now, their only option is now buying an R9 X3D and they can't get the R7 700 X3D edition, which on paper, there's more cores, but the extra core doesn't get the extra CCX, as the second CCX is kind of blah blah blah, blah, blah doesn't have the cache. And again, Andy kind of is right now on top of, you know, with the, you know, them really not catering to the mid end to low end where they have no choice. Their B550 and now their A series chipset isn't really great value, but like the so it's kind of like AMD being like, if you're not a mid, we really don't want you to sell you the R7s and the R5s. We really want you to go buy our R9s. And if you don't like that, well, guess what? You're going to have to wait like a second-class citizen. And, well, this, again, makes the AMD community feel like they got betrayed by AMD with the AM5 platform. And guess what those people are going to be right now is doing, to, uh, doing when they feel betrayed. And freaking alienated by the company that they thought they're going to cater to them. Unfortunately, they are now part of the internet rage mob at targeting AMD for their lack of mid range and low end support. And hopefully, this is, makes you, as viewers and the hopefully the AMD fanboys, learn that with this. AM5 situation that AMD is no longer your friend. They are just another mindless shell corporation that is there to make profit and not care about you as an end consumer and we have to end up taking care of ourselves and I hope that, well, this wakes you up AMD fanboy. Stop being a fanboy to your company. Don't be any fanboys to any company. They are going to want... They are there to make money and money only. They don't care about us doing free advertising for them. We, in fact, should make those companies, well, in this case, AMD, work to earn our trust, which... I highly doubt AMD gonna get from me again. On top of, you know, the now that on top of the current M5 situation, AMD has kind of made all the CPU irrelevant as the non X variant. Once those so called AMD sales price ends, well, the X, the non-X part uh, should be, well, cheaper and better value than the X part. 
which means unless you're buying R97 950X and the R7 7800X 3D, there is no reason to buy AMD. There is no, no, no other CPU on that platform that is worth the AM5 admission fees. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this. My commentary and early look on the new AMD X3D CPU from AMD. If you do, like and subscribe. And if you want to help me grow with this, this community and be an actual fan of a channel with a face and, a, you know, and, you know, with a personality, share my videos and I'll see you guys in the next video.